Okay, let's check in with First Alert Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagan, and we're just waiting for this rain to come. We've been waiting for the last three weeks. It's mm -hmm. the last time we had any measurable rain across the Bay Area, so we are definitely due, and it's just in time for the new month beginning on Thursday. December, usually our wettest month of the year. We will hope that it brings us exactly what we need for the holidays, which is several chances of some much needed rainfall. We're not going to see it during the daylight hours tomorrow. More cloud cover building in as the storm system approaches, and the winds are going to start to pick up throughout the day on Wednesday, but the rain moves in Wednesday night into Thursday, a wet and windy Thursday in store for us. Be planning ahead for that. If you have the option to work from home on Thursday, I would exercise that option. It is going to be sloppy on the roads in the morning, but also potentially in the afternoon, especially for the South Bay. There's that increase in cloud cover as we head through the day on Wednesday. Outside chance of a shower skirting into the North Bay during the afternoon, but most of that moisture is going to evaporate on the way down. The bulk of the actual rain still farther to our north, but it begins to edge into the North Bay by late Wednesday evening, likely by the time you're about to hit the pillow. And then that rain is going to spread across the Bay Area as we head into early Thursday morning. Feature cast indicating this band of rain that's going to be heavy and accompanied by some gusty winds making its way in right at the peak of rush hour Thursday morning. Now, this is one version of one forecast model. There are others that are a little faster, others a little slower, but the timing on that could have a significant impact on the Thursday morning commute. Then that heaviest rain makes its way across the bay into the Tri-Valley, into the Santa Clara Valley, and still raining for eastern and southern parts of the Bay Area Thursday afternoon, finally beginning to wind down as the sun goes down Thursday evening. A little bit of snow around Mount Hamilton, the higher elevations picking up a little bit of that. And then we dry out Thursday night and Friday with another round of rain headed our way already by late Saturday into Sunday. Now about those winds, they're not going to be too strong during the daylight hours yet, but gradually picking up and becoming more noticeable by tomorrow evening. The strongest wind gusts are going to be arriving by midnight Wednesday night. We're talking about 25 to 35 mile an hour gusts at that point, and still windy out there for the Thursday morning commute. 35 to 45 mile an hour gusts, and again, this is forecast model data. None of the computers are perfect at their jobs, but they are all consistently pointing at a windy Thursday morning as that heaviest band of rain makes its way through, even indicating some 50 plus mile an hour gusts, the winds should be dying down once that heaviest band of rain does go through. Again, how much rain are we talking about? Half inch to inch on the low end, which it depends on where that band of rain decides to orient itself. If it goes just a little bit farther north, then these numbers north of the Golden Gate would be significantly heavier. But in general, we're talking from a half an inch to an inch to then an inch to an inch and a half of rain farther to the south. Good soaking rainfall, and it's going to be a snowmaker for the high Sierra winter storm warning in effect from Wednesday evening through Friday morning with those wind gusts also a factor on I-80 and US-50. Travel strongly discouraged during that time frame, and we're not and with the rain chances, with another round headed our way late Saturday into Saturday night, continuing into Sunday. That's not going to be quite as substantial. Right now, well, this Tuesday's daylight fading off the horizon. Temperatures are in the low to mid 50s right now. It's going to be chilly out there by tomorrow morning. 30s inland with near 40 degree low temperatures around the bay. And then highs tomorrow, struggling to warm up, but we'll make it up to within two or three degrees of what's normal for this time of year. A mix of upper 50s and low 60s for most of the Bay Area. Cooler conditions accompanying that rain and wind on Thursday. And then some really cold air is going to be surging in from the north late Thursday night into Friday. Temperatures starting off with some upper 20s early Friday morning. There's that next round of rain Saturday, probably late in the day, Saturday night into Sunday with a dry stretch of weather Monday and Tuesday. But the long range forecast models have been also hinting at maybe some more rain chances headed our way late next week and into the following weekend. That'd be the second weekend of December. That's a long way down the line, but at least we're looking ahead and seeing more signs of more stuff headed our way. Stuff we want to see. Yes. yes. You like the good stuff. Right, exactly.